welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.40 and the statement of this question is a fast food restaurant operates both as a drive through facility and a walk in facility on a randomly selected day let x and y respectively be the proportions of the time that the drive through and walk in facilities are in use okay so here in the given data let me first write the variables which represent the certain quantity and here we can see that this x is representing what this is representing the drive through facility okay so x is the drive through facility and capital y is word that is the walk in facility Okay. So now after representing them and denoting them with certain variables, let me see that what is it. So and suppose that the joint distribution function of these random variables is given by f of x, y which is 2 by 3 x plus 2 y for all the x's which are greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 and similarly for y which is greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere okay so on the basis of all these given data we have to determine part a b and c okay and in part a we have to find the marginal density of x okay so let me solve it and solving it this is the solution and in solving it we have to find the marginal density of x and if it is f of x y so let me represent this with g and let me have it here g of x okay so now in order to find it out we have to integrate this given function within the ranges of the given values and also integrate it with respect to the other variable in which we are not interested to okay so here we have to determine the marginal density of x so we have to integrate it with respect to another variable which is y okay so let me write it here and the ranges of let me have here 0 1 because both the variables has the ranges of 0 to 1 and let me write the function here and that is 2 by 3 x plus 2y okay and integrating it with respect to y because it is here x and so i have to integrate it with respect to y okay so let me solve it and this 2 by 3 is a constant value so let me put it outside this integral and integrating all these again what i will get integrating this x with respect to dy what i will get here i will have this will be a constant for it so i will have here x y and from the range 0 to 1 okay similarly here seeing this one what i will get here this will be 2 while this will become y square divided by 2 2 and 2 will cancel out and here we will get y square so it will also be from the range 0 to 1 okay so let me solve it and here solving it what i will get here this will be from 0 to 1 so here i will get x because it will be 1 minus 0 okay similarly here we can see that this is uh, y square and that is uh, 0 to 1 so here i will get 1 so therefore the answer of the marginal density for x is given here and that is the solution of part a of my question okay so that is the solution now solving part b of my question find the marginal density of y again all the things will remain the same just i have to integrate this function with respect to what with respect to x because i have to find it with respect to y okay so here the variable or marginal density let me represent it with h and the variable here i am going to use is y because i want to find the marginal density of y okay now using the same integration from 0 to 1 this is for the values of x okay here we had those ranges for the values of y okay so now writing the function the same function here x plus 2y and here it will be d of x okay so now we will get what let me move this 2 by 3 outside of it and here it will become what integrating it with respect to x from 0 to 1 what i will get here 
here we will get x square divided by 2 from 0 to 1 because now I have been integrating it with respect to x. Okay. Similarly, here this will become 2i. Okay. 2i, but here we can see that we have to integrate it with respect to x, and there we have only one, and these 2i will be represented as a constant here. So, therefore, integrating it from 0 to 1, I will get here x, and it will be from 0 to 1. Okay, so now let me solve it. This will be 2 by 3, and here x square by 2, it will become what? It will become x square divided by 2, so it will become 1 by 2. Okay. Similarly, here looking at it, I will get 2i. Okay. Or multiplying this 2 inside of it, what I will get here, it will be 1 plus 4y. Okay. And that is what, that is the solution of part B of our question. So, we have found out the marginal densities for x. Okay. This is A and for marginal densities of part b which is the marginal density of y okay so now we have found out these marginal densities now let us proceed towards part c of this question and we have to find the probability that the drive through facility is busy less than one half of the time okay so this is part c and i have to find out the probability that the drive through facility is busy less than one half of the time so let me see that which represents which variable represent the drive through facility and that is x okay so i have to use this function which is x so i have to see that that is less than one half and that would be calculated by using the function which is given here and it will be from 0 to 1 by 2 which are less than 1 by 2 because this is a continuous function therefore I have been using this 1 by 2 as well and here I have to use this gx dx okay so now putting values here and the values here are given here so here I will get 0 to 1 by 2 2 by 3 x plus 1 dx okay so now here it will become 2 by 3 and integrating it this x will become x square divided by 2 from the range 0 to 1 by 2 and here it will become x from 0 to 1 by 2 okay so ultimately i will get here what this 2 by 3 and here 1 by 2 this x square will become what is will be 1 by 2 whole square minus 0 so it will become 1 by 4 4 okay also this will become what this will become 1 by 2 okay so let me multiply this 2 inside so i will get 1 by 3 and here 1 by 4 plus 1 okay so let me solve it further and here i will get this will be 1 by 3 and here this will become 4 and this will be what this will be 4 4 and this will be 5 okay so ultimately i will get what i will get 4 5 divided by 12 and that is what that is the solution for part c of my question which has been given here okay so that's it for today in which we have basically solve a real world problem in which a given joint density function of two variables has been given and on the basis of it we have found out some parts of it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon